going on? Who's in here? JJ, what's up, Clemente? What's up, Clemente? Michael Rizzo, what's up, Michael? How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. So how is everybody? Everybody's out, out and about, I guess. Come on now. There we go. We're getting a little bit more. I got all these new subs and nobody's checking in. What's going on? How's everybody doing? It's got a little warm all of a sudden. It's got a little warm. Let me put the air on a little bit. What's up, Michael? Dana, what's up, Mr. Cowboy? How are you? They call me Jimbo, son. What's up, man? How are you? Thanks for stopping by, man. I like seeing new names in here. Devil Dog, what's going on? I was just listening to uh, the new kickoff rules. I really like it, man. Lady Libra, how are you? I really like the new kickoff rules. Finished the workout. Got the tr uh, truck in the shop waiting on the callback. Nice. Game time, last hour of the day, government job. <laughs> nice, beautiful thing. I'm actually ahead of schedule today. Big time. Ward family, what's going on? Hey, Lady Libra. Hey, David, how are you, Mr. Cowboy? Um, I really like the new kickoff rules. Yeah, uh, yeah, just looking at it on the surface, if you are a return specialist in the draft, like a, an Xavier Worthy, a guy who probably shouldn't be, hey, what's up, Howard? A guy who probably shouldn't be drafted until the middle to the end of the second round based on Receiving skills out of Texas. These new kickoff rules. He has to. He he going to be elevated now. He's going to be elevated. So now you're looking at him. Top of the second. Bottom of the first possibly. If there's a big run on receiver. Look for a lot of. Um, now that. See so what they basically are doing. Is moving all the players over the 50. And the kicker is still going to be kicking from the normal spot. Oh, dude, Michael Dana. I go over. I used to go over that bridge all the time, going to BWI. Not good. I saw the uh, the video on that. That's that's crazy. Absolutely nuts. I thought those bridges were made to withstand something like that, but clearly that one wasn't. Hello to all you mailheads. That's what I call us game time fans. Uh, mailheads. I like it, David. Jojo, hello, good afternoon, game time. Hope your route is nice and easy today. Yeah, actually, it's about as easy as it gets, Jojo. Look at your subs. They are growing by leaps and bounds. Ah, thank you so much, Jojo. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But, um, game time. Players for all involved in Baltimore. Oh, yeah, yeah, prayers. Yeah, man, Atlanta Walker. I mentioned you this morning, Atlanta. Did, did you watch my video? Give you a shout out. You and a couple other Eagle fans. I'm a mailhead. Mr. Cowboy. <laughs> I like that. Mail minions. They were able to stop oncoming traffic, which helped so many people to remain safe. Yeah, it's, that's nuts. Absolutely. Like when you see the video of it, it's it's scary. Very scary. Makes me not not want to go over a bridge like that at uh, at night. What's up, Lady Libra? <laughs> I gotta keep. That's why I said I have to keep it real, like Elena. You were in on the ground level. Do you see a Shafty's tweet? Don't look like they are. Don't look like they are not extending that. What do you mean by that? Repeat yourself. They are going to extend them, or they look, they look like they're not going to extend them. I'm feeling like they're going to let him play out of this year. But let me know if I'm wrong. I did not see his tweet. Derek Brown update or is that a rumor? Michael Dana, it's a rumor. But it's, trust me when I tell you, they are not. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling, I have a feeling you're right, 808 Cowboy. I think Dak is in, going into the final year. Yeah, the new kickoff rules, Ward family. The kicker is still going to kick from the same spot, but all the players on the field on the defense and offensive side of the ball are going to be five yards apart, only five yards apart, and they're going to be over the 50-yard line. 
So the kicker, if he kicks it through the end zone, the team starts it to 30. But there's going to be a zone. It's the old XFL rule. There's going to be a zone from the zero, or if you, from the goal line to the 20. The red zone, if you land it in there and nobody touches it, the ball's down there. There's It's XFL style. Yes, exactly. Prime time. Ex exactly. What's nice about it is the returner gets to none of the players can move until the ball either A, hits the floor, uh, the ground, or the receiver or returner catches it. Nobody can move. So the ball is kicked. Everybody is stationary waiting for the ball to hit the ground or the player. I kind of like that. That sets up that Cavante Turpin type returner to go streaking down the field. Yeah, there you go. He's back in business. He's damn right. Let me go back. Yeah, Michael down. Derek Brown is going to be traded somewhere, and there's a lot of, yeah, depending on what we get in the draft, there's a lot of uh, fingers pointing at the Cowboys. That's all I'm saying. They are interested. He fits into what Zimmer wants to do. One and done, Devil Dog. Oof. I think y'all, well, it's in for one year, but they'll keep it. I think y'all tanking for Shador Sanders. They call me Jimbo Sunday. They, uh, Michael Urban said the same thing. I like turtles. Makes you think they truly don't believe in Dak. David, they don't believe in paying the quarterback that kind of money. JJ, right now he's counting 20% of the of the cap. They want that number around 15. Good afternoon. What up, Ultra? Yeah, I like that rule. I don't know about the hip drop. A tackle. I think that could be a shit show. I'm hoping they are very liberal with the uh, defenders allowing them to tackle unless it's a blatant. You know, like the horse collars got twisted a little bit, and they're calling more horse collars than I really think they need to. I hope they don't do that with the hip drop, but they probably will. Alina, what's up? What's up? Turpin should excel with those rule changes. Yeah, Mike. And what I'm saying is, Receivers like a Worthy out of Texas and other smaller uh, guys who aren't necessarily great receivers or polished route runners or have a problem getting off the jam. But if, if they're good kick returners in college, uh, college, they're back in business. Aloha, 808. That's right. You're in Vegas, right? What's up, Thomas Garrett? What's up? You like the hip uh, drop tackle rule, uh, Ultra? Question, who's Derek Brown? He's a defensive tackle who plays with the Carolina Panthers. He's a beast. I think he's out of Texas. Right, Ultra? Dak fanboys, go read Ian Rappaport tweet about Dak. You will love it. I think you're on to something, Game Time, Brian. Our young receivers and players need playing time. Clemente, yeah. I like. Everybody wants to go out and get... Now, I'm not going to say I'm not going to go get a dig. They're not doing that this year. Maybe next year. But I want to see our young guys. Even on defense, our young guys. we got a lot of them. Now it's starting to make sense, people. Mozzie Smith was playing with a bum shoulder all year. He hurt it early on in the year. And he had substantial surgery out four to six months. Xavier Worthy and Turpin as our new kickoff returners. Like I said, uh, Ultra Worthy stock just rose. Hopefully they can trade for Derek Brown. Again, I think it'll be a deal where, remember, they're not going to give up a pick this year. If they were to do it, <coughs> they would be giving out a pick next year or multiple picks next year. Give them two fives next year. Game time, Brian. Brown is from Auburn. Okay. There you go. I wasn't sure if he was Texas. Yeah, there you go. Auburn. That's it. I like it, but let the refs will mess it up. That's my only thing. I don't mind the tackle, but let's not call. There's, there's going to be interpretation to every thing, you know? So we'll see how they do it. Ultra, do you think Mahomes beats Green Bay? Love had a 99.3 a QBR against us out of 100. Please explain. How did Luke and Mozzie get hurt? 
Doug gets hurt. Yeah, right. Exactly. Prime time. Supposedly, Mozzie was hurt early on, which makes a lot of sense now, right? He couldn't lift yeah, during the season. He was having some issues. It makes a lot of sense. Can't rely on Mozzie coming off an injury on top of that. Too. Yeah, 808 Cowboy, which all goes into my, they're going to try and draft one. But as we sit here now, as we sit here right now, they don't have a fourth round pick. So I gave you my plan. And I, I mean, I got news for everybody. That's regardless of who's on the board, not named Fontenot and Mims. And John, uh, I think, and Jackson Powers Johnson. Anybody not named those three are on the board, you're trading down. And I think they'll all be gone. Trade down to 20 to 32. Take Graham Barton. David Cowboy. I had Barton going to Miami before us. But, again, that's true. If you watch my last mock, David, I had his drop and I forget where it was. Maybe it was the 26 for a fourth rounder. And then I went from 26 to 35 or 36 for a third rounder. Uh, so what that sets up is two twos, two threes, and our four. We get five picks in the top. Four picks in the top 100, five in the top, uh, what is it, 130-something? Well, that's awful getting hurt like that. Yeah, oh, sucks. Would love Brown and somehow Reddick just dreaming. David, stay tuned on the Reddick thing. Imagine if they released him. Go ahead, release him. They cut him. Look, you look good with a star on your helmet. If we're riding with the young lineman. We may, we have. I see us trading back, getting picks with Mozzie injury. We need to see it. Yeah, I think we have to trade back. Uh, obviously, if somebody drops with all these quarterback rumors now, which is very possible, then that'll be a tough situation because you're trading away. Who's going to be long gone? Mims may be there, and that's, that's the big debate. Do we go Mims? I like Mims. I know a lot of people in the chat like Mims. But the fact of the matter is he's only got eight college games played at Georgia, or six. Six started, and yeah, six regular season, and two playoff. The college playoff. Cowboys and QB Dak Prescott have a mutual understanding of his contract situation. Yeah, you, you did send that to me. Sources say, with no offers from Dallas, despite him being in a contract year, no indication a deal is coming. So I wonder what that mutual understanding. That means he's gone, people. Cowboys will draft Deion Sun next year. A QB, that's the way they are giving Dak a short answer. Drusilla, we'll see. J215 Hood, excuses. Who's making excuses, man? Trade Derek Brown or Ray Cleveland's deep defensive tackle room. Yes, exactly, 808. I like the one D tackle. Is it Hurst? Does that sound right? Hurst? Out of Cleveland from Ian Rappaport about Dak. This appears to clear the path for Dak Prescott to test free agency. There you go. He gone. So what if Dak signs all these people who say he is not gone? Yeah, we'll have to see, Coyote. No one can predict what the Joneses will do. Joneses are all, are all pissed off. Mazzy is not a wasted pick. Defensive tackles take time. Just Yeah, remember Quinn and Williams first year? Good call. Good call. Beautiful day for a mailman today. Philly day. A Philly day. It's beautiful out. I do know it's going to get cloudy. I think it's going to start raining tonight. Brian, we're not doing that. Elena, you might be doing that. We're just saying what Shefty tweeted. Sounds like they're just going to pet, play it out with Dak. Yeah, that's all we're doing. He must miss how he rose in latest interview. They call me Jimbo son. What happened? What did he say? Yeah, I didn't see it. Catboy said that it's likely the draft alignment early for what it's worth. Yeah. Early meaning rounds one, two, or three. There will be a legit talent at 24. They are not moving back. They may use their 2025 20, picks to get a fourth round pick. I know you said that before. Just remember, Ultra, when you trade a next year's pick, you got to go a round higher. 
So let's say, you know, you'd have to give multiple fives to move. If you want a fourth round pick, you'd have to give like not fifths. You'd have to give up a third. You probably have to give up a third to get a four. If you want a four this year, you got to get a third for next year. Mo Her, yeah, that's who I like. Hurst. I thought he was free, but I guess not. Lou Branch, what up? Don't matter because Jerry wants to lose for the Sanders. What do you think about that, Lou? You think it's a good call or what? Eric Wallace, what's up, my man? Game time. Do you think they are waiting on Dak's contract because of the personal issues Dak's having? That don't help, Lady Libra, but that all sounds like money grab to me, but it don't help. Of course, they'll use it in negotiation. The left tackle might be the highest rated player on the board. It's going to be a left tackle or wide receiver 24. Wide receiver, you're sticking with that, eh? If they stick to the board, the actual... I think Dallas is going to make their board up with all the needs that they need. How is making another big move and kill, uh, and liking keeping Reddick? Well, here's the deal. Jimbo's son. Reddick wants a long-term deal getting paid. Eagles are not prepared to do that. Maybe they do a one-year fully guaranteed type situation. They need to keep him because Huff always gets hurt. Lead commander. Dak, unfortunately, will have to go to the middle of the pack team to a bottom feeders. Top 14 teams have established QB. Yeah, that's probably what they're looking at too, lead commander. A good point. But some are going to offer him something. Hopefully, Mozzie steps up, but we can't go into the season with at least two defensive tackle signings. I ain't trying to rely on Carl Davis. Yeah, Carl Davis. Yeah, exactly. Carl Davis. But if you saw, Stephen Jones did make reference to what the Eagles did a couple of years ago, bringing in defensive tackles after the draft, before this season. They're. Teams are going to be unloading based on what they get in the draft with these post-June 1 cuts that they, had, that they haven't released yet. There's different tiers of free agency, and they're just waiting for the latter tiers. That's all. Depending on who is there at 24, I can see them trading back. We have a lot of spots to fill. Coyote, that's all I'm saying. You can't get enamored with any one player unless a true left tackle. Okay, who was that true left tackle? Maybe they don't evaluate Mims as being that guy yet. A lot of question marks. A lot of uncertainty. To me, you know, Joe Alt, long gone. Fontenelle, a Fontenelle, long gone. Who else is a true left tackle? Tyler Guyton? There's some holes there. Birds I could see moving up to grab Verse or Mitchell. Or uh, Arnold out of Alabama. Terry and Arnold, Philly D. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they move up to get an edge or a corner. I agree with you. Living the dream here, game time. Good, good. I'm glad you're doing well, Eric. Devil Dog, what's up, League Commander? What's up, game time, Brian? The one and only Ron the Don's in the house. What do you think about the news about Dak's contract? Yeah, it's kind of what we've been thinking. Dak's going to be playing. He's going to be a free agent, which means he's gone because once you hit that, there's going to be a team, a desperate team like Cleveland, that's going to give him a fully guaranteed contract. It may be the Washington Commanders, funny enough. Who knows what they're going to get? They're talking about possibly trading down. So if they go out and get a quarterback in a second round who stinks – or if they trade down and take Michael Penix or somebody, it stinks. Or if they take Jaden Daniels, and he's not what I think, who I really like, then, you know, like, could you see uh, Dak playing in Washington, D.C.? Zach Martin will most likely retire next year. I could see us drafting his replacement. Coyote, uh, that's a scary thought, but I agree. Too much talent to tank. They will use a draft capital move, move up for a QB, use the cap space to... Replace players that they could not draft. Draft capital, 100 million cap space, young core. That's right. Lou Branch, I don't know, bro. Jerry's hard to figure out. Yeah, Jerry's a, 
Hey, Jerry's annoying, man. Him and his scribbling. Dak would fit the giant. Uh, yeah, uh, he would. Dakota goes home to the Saints next season. Ooh, I like that. Dakota rain rains down on on uh, what's the name of the uh, the stadium? I'm having a blank. I keep saying Silverdome, but that's the old uh, Detroit Lions. The uh, what's the uh, Superdome? No. What's the name of the uh, New Orleans Saints? Felix Rojas. What's up, my man? Jordan Morgan. He's a guard, I think. Before Mike had been drafted, the last time they moved back was 2013. I know. They've been sticking and picking a lot lately. They have to be comfortable with how many players they have rated high on their board. Drusilla. What up? Some point... In time, Dion will be coaching the Cowboys. Read right between the lines. Zimmer and Dion have a good relationship. Ooh, that's a good tie there. Dak will be going to Tampa Bay. Ooh, shots fired, Drusilla. Commanders might be looking at J.J. McCarthy. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. If Dak goes to Washington, Mike and me follow. What could we get for him? No, I'm joking. Some might as well trade him. Now. Some might as well trade him now. He's got a no trade, David. He's gonna want to. He'll. I mean, he'll go, but you won't get nothing for him because he ain't signing a long term deal. His. He's this close to open free agency. This never happens to a quarterback in his prime like Dak. He's hitting free agency. They took a washed up McNabb. They will definitely take Dak. You're right. T.J. Bass is the Zach Martin replacement. Probably. Hell, they took once. <laughs> Mike is not going nowhere. I know he's not. I'm just saying. We need to know his value. Superdome. That's what I said, right? Who did that? Who did that? Yeah. Yeah, but what's it called? The something Superdome. Anyway, yeah, we know what it is. The Thunderdome. It's loud as shit in there. I know that. If Tyler moves to tackle, then Bass replacing his spot. Or Zach's. I agree. And I think Hoffman can play guard, too. I do. But it's easy to find a guard. Superdome. Thanks, Elena. Micah said he would follow DQ. Don't automatically think he's he stays in Dallas. Well, we own his rights for the next couple of years. Jerry has always been hard to figure out. I've seen ever since he became owner of the Cowboys. Yeah, the one and only Ron the Don. I agree. Adam Peters of the uh, the Commanders GM will not bring Dak on board despite Dan Quinn being his coach. Adam has seen enough of Dak's failures as 49ers. Lead commander. Very interesting. But the fact that they want J.J. McCarthy, whew, that's a risk. I agree. The Sanders family will be in Dallas. I, too, am calling it Felix Rojas. Wow. Even though Dion said he would never coach in the NFL. So Dion going to pick where his son goes, Philly D. I thought he said Dak is from Louisiana. Yes, he is. Mississippi, right? Mississippi's right there, Mississippi State. He might we might face Dak in the championship game if that happens. Devil dog. Oh great. QB coaches from Cowboys, Jets, and Raiders, and wide receiver coaches from Titans and Broncos came to see Senior Bowl alum a QB Michael Pratt and wide receiver Jaquan Jackson. Phil D. Who Dion son talk is dumb. Shador Sanders. He's more of a runner, though, right? Caesar Superdome. All right, cool. Thanks, Thomas. Dax one step closer out the door, Mike Goldana. Bro, you all gonna make Mark lose it talking about Dak leaving. Lou Branch, here's the deal. I'm a Cowboy fan. Whatever is the best interest of the Cowboys winning another Super Bowl, I'm all for it. I don't know that moving on from Dak is the answer, though. I'll be honest with you. But seems like that's what they're doing. 
if y'all had a chance, would you want uh, to see Barkley with Dak one year? Uh, no, not with our offensive line. Nah. I mean, it, Philly D, we might get Barkley with Trey Benson. <laughs> Trey Benson's a home run hitter, younger. Jonathan Brooks, Braylon Allen. Running back's the one position you normally don't give a lot of money to. Just look at the mistake we did with Zeke. That's crazy to think Washington wouldn't want Dak. Washington wants winning seasons, not what they... Yeah, it all depends how the rookie QB does this year, Coyote. Let's remember that. Dion can't win in college. How the hell is he going to coach in the NFL? Well, here's the deal. Um, he's going to win a championship before he's done. Dion's getting all these transfers and, and big-time recruits. NFL is different. Sanders is very accurate. Dion's going to leave the University of Colorado high and dry. Um, I think they're going to win. If not, I think they might win it this year. Don't get me wrong. I love Dak, but I think it's time is coming to an end as a Cowboy and I'll always be a Dak fan. Felix Rojas. Yeah. Um, I'm one of those guys, Felix, that... I want to make sure I'm getting a stud, an absolute stud at quarterback, a young stud. If I'm not 100% sure, you're never 100% sure, so that's probably. If I'm not 90% sure. So some roughing penalties can be reviewed now. Yeah, that and the, I saw the delay of game. They could review it to see if the clock is zero. So expect the officials not to give that extra second. Zeke got a lot more with lesser cap. Yeah, he did. Dion has guaranteed job in college. Makes the same money and can recruit whoever he wants. Doesn't work like that in the NFL. Yeah, Coyote, now you, you know, everybody's, now it's called a draft. Brian, Dak ain't going nowhere. Y'all keep hyping it up. I'm not hyping it up. If he gets to free agency, Thomas, he's gone. Dallas ain't going to match nothing. If he gets to free agency... He's gone. I have Dak jerseys and memorabilia. I am out for for good after that Green Bay game. I hear you, man. Sanders is more of a passer than a runner. Okay. What's his size? Is he on the smaller side, Ultra? That's how I feel. I'm a fan of my team, not the one player. Lou Branch, yeah, that's just how I am. Uh, I would love to win it with Dak because he's such a good person. But... So was Tony. So was Danny White. You know? I agree with you, Brian. Thanks, Felix. Who is it? Bob Seeger turned the page. Yeah. Yeah. He also did... Uh, Old time rock and roll. Sanders, his talent. But he has a lot to prove to be a top 10 QB. Brian, I'm with you. Team first. Just get a good QB. Elena, that's just how it is. Um, you know. What's up, Jeff Lee? Hey, how are you, buddy? Shador has legs, but Dion wants him to focus on being a prototypical a prototypical uh, quarterback. Well, Mike Aldana, it extends your career, that's for sure. Shador Sanders reminds me of Steve McNair. Yeah, that good. Well, if he's that good lead commander, then I don't know of what Cowboy fan would be upset about that. Teams are going to follow the 49er model, build a hell of a roster, have a QB on a rookie deal. Kind of like what we had under Dak that they didn't, that the same uh, Cowboys ownership didn't really go in year, at, year in and year out. There was you know, some years we had a good offensive line, some not so much. Some year, you know, we always seem to be deficient. I got news for you. Niners weren't deficient in any area this past season. McNair was way better runner than Sanders. That's not a good comparison. I don't know, Coyote. I don't know about that. Keep Dak. You know the odds are grabbing another quarterback. I hear you, Vinny. Game time. Request an hour lunch from now on. Yeah, Mr. Cowboy. Exactly. I'm coming up on that. Sanders is 6'2", 215. He's that big, huh? So Dak's 6'2". So I... I actually like that. 
We had two years of high dead money when Dak was on a rookie deal. Okay. Hey, you do know all the ins and outs. Do you see that the Cowboys spent the last, the least in free agency? Yeah, oh yeah, it was ridiculous. We did like 11 million. The highest was 30. The lowest, next lowest was 31. McNair was a beast runner at his age. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't the most. Um, McNair wasn't the most uh, fleet of foot. You know, he was. I mean, he was good, but he started taking some hits. When we get the likes up, a little bit more likes. I'm going to give you some overtime today. Thanks, Lady Libra. We're going to go another minute or so. I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. Jamie Flores, I won't blame Dak Prescott if he'll go out there. Out of here from Dallas. It looks like Jerry Jones and Steven are not doing nothing. And they will never do nothing game time. You should know better. Jamie, that's what I said. They didn't do nothing, you know, when Dak was on a rookie deal. Travis Hunter is a better player. Plays wide receiver corner. Yeah, I like Travis. He got hurt bad last year. I think it was a spleen, I think. Spleen or lacerated spleen or something like that. Lacerated kidney. Something Something to that effect. But all right, everybody. Um, i got to get a thumbnail for tomorrow night's live stream. Um, I might do something later, though. I said that last night, but it didn't happen. But I actually have to go on my computer and set stuff up. So it might happen tonight. Yeah. A Jeff Lee, Xavier Worthy stock just went up after the new rules. But I'll talk to everybody later, all right? Bye. Peace out. Later.